Good morning, YouTube. Dutch Sense here. It is 5.52 a.m. Central Standard Time on Saturday, March 26, 2011. And someone just forwarded this over to me, and it is just a great site. It's, they've assembled all the different forecasts for the radiation, the iodine-131, cesium. Um, here, let me just go ahead and switch this over to English. Um, iodine-131, cesium-137, xenon-133, and then um, Ur URAD has done all the cesium forecasts, okay? And then flex part, and we're going to go look at all these really quick. It's, it's going to be worth your time. So, before we get to any of that, this is the prevailing jet stream. Here's the Japan area, and this is the way the winds are flowing. Regardless of which way the storms are going, some storms will pull off some of the radiation that's coming off of the plant now that we have a confirmed meltdown. And, but this has stayed the same. This has not changed. This just keeps going the way it's going. So it's going up over the Cascade Mountains and the Cascade Range, I should say. And it's coming down over the Midwest of the United States and then going back out of the Pacific and up over Europe. Okay? And some of, some of the storms are curling off and going down here over Mexico, which brings me to, let's see, here we go. Okay, this is one of the forecasts. You can click on it and watch it yourself. And now the United States is here. You have to look at it kind of up, upside down the way they have it laid out because of the, the shape of the globe is round. So to plot this, this is another way that you can view it. All right, so here's Japan. And this is cesium-137 at 5,000 meters high, okay, at 15,000 feet. All right. And we know at 15,000 feet is where storms occur, where it snows, where it rains, where it hails. So any of that precip that comes down could have high levels of cesium-137. Now, I want to show you the surface concentration because this is going to determine for a lot of people what you want to do. Not just this, but I'm going to post them all down below and you guys can go decide for yourself. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I live in St. Louis, Missouri, which is roughly where my mouse is. Okay? And these are surface concentrations, and look at the date. So this is today, oh, and here's the key, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Let's look, at the key. Let's look at both of these again with the key down below. Okay, it looks like Mexico is going to get a very large concentration of cesium. And the west coast, and the midwest. You can look at the color code and look where it's going. Okay? Now, here's... We've already looked at the ZAMG, which is the Austrian forecast, but let's just go ahead and look at it one more time. I've looked at it in other videos. Go back through my uploads for the past several days and you'll see several other uploads. So, okay. Uh, I think I got a better shot of it. There we go. This is the forecast plumes. Okay, for iodine-131. For basically today and tomorrow. And you can see where it's going. Okay? And I'll post these links down below. You can watch these animated charts. You can click around up here and see the different clouds.
and sorry I'm doing this real time, so it's just going to take some time to load. And I've, I've got a fast connection, I assume this is either getting a lot of traffic or it's overseas. Okay, while that's loading, let me tell you, they also have a webcam where you can watch the Fukushima reactor live, which I already have open right here. Okay, and let's do a refresh on it to see what, yeah. Okay, so there's, right now, there's no noticeable plumes coming off of there, which means it's localized radiation that's coming out. And you can go back and look at these webcams. Um, you know, we can just... Go back in time here a little bit. Okay, there's no... For the last while now, no noticeable plumes coming out there at all. That's good. And let's look at flex parts forecast. This is there. Let's see, okay. Alright, and again, the 326 is the analysis date for 324. So, basically, today they're analyzing the 24th data, which puts these clouds much closer to us. Unfortunately, that's what it takes. This is an actual readout. It's kind of distressing. Okay. All right, we got to look at this Xenon cloud. Okay, so this is in the upper atmosphere, xenon gas, radioactive xenon, 133, today and tomorrow, and the next day. Watch the iodine cloud really quick while this. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, this link will be down below, and you can go view this stuff yourself. Um, that would probably be the best idea. You can make an informed decision based upon the levels that are coming to your area as viewed on the map, as predicted by several different agencies. And we're going to have to trust that these meteorologists know what they're talking about, okay? And that we haven't heard anything from our government or any other agency so the meteorologists are going to be the ones that we're going to have to pay attention to on this. And they are all forecasting large clouds to come over the United States and dissipate and residual to hit Europe. And that's all today and tomorrow. So there you have it, folks. Much love in these times. And 
Again, all the links are down below and review the data and decide for yourself what preparations, if any, you need to make. Thanks.